I'm your neighborhood reporter, Darius Udris, and an emotional day at T.A. Wilson Academy in Jackson, as residents of the city's temporary homeless shelter are forced to move out. The city's grant for a temporary solution to keep Jackson's homeless indoors for the winter ended at midnight. It fell to Tasha Carter, CEO and founder of Residents in Action, and her colleagues to move them out. I think we've all cried a couple of times, um, staff and um, the people who stay here. Yeah, it, it's emotionally tolling. Carter says her staff have done their best to help with alternative housing. But about 22 of them, she says, still don't know where they will be staying tonight. Last minute fundraising was not enough to keep the shelter open. I asked city manager Jonathan Green, who was on hand for the shutdown, whether the building's future owners, residents in action, will be staying in the Wilson complex, and on what terms. He says that remains to be determined. Could there be an opportunity while we're working on those things to lease the property from the city to continue operations? Um, I could see that happening. It would take an active city council to make happen. Both Green and Carter told me there had been outreach to other organizations to help those evicted today. But one of the most prominent, Jackson Interfaith Shelter, says they haven't been contacted by RIA or the city. I did check with my staff. No one has heard from RIA. Uh, uh, we don't know what's happening down there. Lack of communication notwithstanding, leaders of both agree that emergency shelters are just a temporary fix. In fact, says Sebo Grieve, who was once homeless herself, they can even make a bad situation worse. Uh, we'll see someone that'll be here in the shelter. They're, they're doing the things that they need to do to help them get permanent housing and stability. And then they decide to go to one of the temporary ones. And we see them when we see them within two weeks, within a month, because they come down here to eat, all their progress is sliding. They go back to their old ways. Sebo Grieve also says after a temporary shelter has closed, or money for hotels has run out, many are back to square one. Carter knows the homeless need more than emergency warming and hopes funders can change their mindset. Maybe it's thinking outside of the box to reallocate those dollars to a program like this that um, supports connecting people to resources and um, helping them get food and serving as an advocate versus just plugging them in a hotel and leaving them there to fend for themselves. In your neighborhood, I'm Daria Sudris, Fox 47 News.